Every little thing she does is magic Everything she does just turns me on Even though my life was tragic Now I know my life for her goes on Hello everybody, it's Fine Flame Talking and welcome to another sing-along intro. I have no idea if that was good or not, especially that drawn-out section. I'm all... okay, this is the thing, like, I've been trying to work on it with my singing and I don't know why, but every time a song comes out with one of those drawn-out sections, we have to go like... Uh, I don't know why, but I always miss up with that. I feel like my voice is just crackling and jumping up and down everywhere. I am always bad at those for some reason. But now... We're not here to talk about my singing, we're here to, to, to watch another episode. Uh, this time it's My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, uh, episode, uh, season 6, episode 21, Every Little Thing She Does. Which explains the song I sang before, because it's pretty much taken from a song from a group called by the police, called Everything She Does is Magic. So, this will be interesting. I have no uh, predictions or anything, so let us just jump right into it. As we watch, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 6, Episode 21, Every Little Thing She Does. In 3, 2, 1, GO! Alright. Oh, Starlight, haven't seen you in many episodes. Okay. It is on. All right. Where do we begin? Teleportation, multiple locations. Try to keep up. Oh no. It's still so cool that she can like make herself fly with the magic. That's so cool. So is this what they do? They just make magic? She created life. Every little thing she does is magic! <laughs> Holy crap! That is so cool! Magic! <laughs> um... studying she's very eager but it's so cool to see more magic stuff like I know it's a show about uh, like uh, like everyday stuff and friendship and all that stuff but I love seeing the magic in work and just imagining these two going at it like this every time they study that is so cool I cannot wait to see more my little pony, to be sure you're all my very best friends. See again the drawn out part. Maybe it's because I'm not like warmed up properly. I don't know. As you know, speed spells like Accelero are not easy. But if done correctly, they can allow you to be much more Michael Vogel! She's the Flash! Way to go, Starlight! Oh. <laughs> I'm not finished. I've discovered a very old spell, Similo Duplexus. When combined with Accelero in just the right way, you can literally be in two places at once. <sighs> what the heck? Now, I'm finished. I have to admit, your skills with magic really are nothing short of amazing. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I've always been something of a natural. However, it doesn't look like you've tackled any friendship lessons since you met Trixie. Are you sure? I could have sworn there were a couple in there somewhere. I'm sure. I see. Well, I okay. really am quite busy this week. So many commitments. I'll try and find some time in my head. No time like the present. 
Spike and I are headed to Canterlot. Princess Celestia wanted me to give her students a quick overview on the history of enchanted objects in Equestria. We'll be back after the presentation, which should be... 20 moons from now? Tonight. It's a quick presentation. Sure. Keep uh -huh. telling yourself that. <laughs> you can tackle a friendship lesson. Knowing Twilight, she'll probably you begin just rambling on for hours. Uh, of course. No problem. Friendship lesson. Ah, uh, Starlight. Great. Can't wait. Now, Spike. I don't know if she's more socially awkward than Fluttershy or not, which would be incredible. Since Fluttershy is well, Fluttershy. That seems about right. Just checking to see if you need anything before we left. Nope, not at all. I'm good here. Oh, not good. Great. Not a problem in the world. Uh huh. So, what are you doing exactly? I was just trying to decide which friendship lesson I was going to tackle while you two were in Canterlot. Uh, oh, yep, right here, where I just left them a second ago. Bake a cake with Pinkie Pie, scrapbook with Applejack, sew with Rarity, uh, help an animal with Fluttershy, chill relax with Rainbow Dash. What is chillaxing? No idea. You know, it's Rainbow uh, Speech. If you're nervous about your friendship lessons, it's totally okay to say so. Nervous? Me? Ha 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 ha. Oh, Spike, you really are hilarious. <laughs> you think I'm nervous that I'm going to fail something as simple as baking a cake? Well, if you were, it'd be silly. Twilight just said how impressed she was that I combined a speed spell and a duplication spell. That was a challenge. These, ah, I can combine all five of these at the same time without breaking a sweat. I think maybe you're missing an opportunity to really impress Twilight. <gasps> Great idea, Spike. No, uh, Starlight, kind of missing the point. I thought Twilight was a master of the freak out. <laughs> so, with your help, I figure these should be done in no time. Are you sure this is what Twilight would want? Seems like you might want to take your time with each of these. Yeah. But by working as a team, we can get them done faster. And isn't teamwork a key factor in friendship? Uh, yes, but so not in this way. Up, since we're baking, you will be in the kitchen. <gasps> Rarity, Applejack, you two can set up in the library. Oh, I don't know that the dusty old library has the proper lighting. Perhaps we can stay out here in the foyer. I thought that Fluttershy and I could work with the animals right here in the foyer. Oh, um, whatever you think is best. Great. <laughs> now, Rainbow Dash. But it might depend on the animal. For instance, this poor little eagle with a spring wing might be better off up in one of the towers. Yeah, 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 sure. And these adorable chipmunks might prefer a nook somewhere. Maybe if you spend some time getting to know... In a minute, Fluttershy. Uh, I can I see what Starlight will be learned. Do not rush that. things. We need very specific conditions for optimal chillaxing. Oh, I just assumed chillaxing At could happen. Maximum anyway. coolness, yeah, chillness, sunglasses for good measure. Some location scouting. Okay. Uh, it seemed more efficient to start with the scrapbooking, so we could just get it out of there. Just getting some to drink. We're gonna need time for the cake to bake. After all, it's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. Uh, we're on a hey, are we back in season one with Pinky just randomly bursting out into singing? That is a bad thing, not at all. Jesus! They're giving Pinky all the weird faces this, uh, this season. And Rainbow. How much is a whole lot? We've got at least 80 moons worth of memories to go through. 80 moons? Uh, uh, there is nowhere to chillax in this castle. We're gonna have to set up somewhere else. Yes, Starlight. Um. Could you all excuse me for one second? Wow. That pony really needs to chillax. <sighs> you should have tried to combine everything at once. Take it one and step at a time. This is nothing compared to the spells you've mastered. 
Maybe if I cast a little spell to help things along, something no. simple and safe. The Duchia Compellus? That's not bad. You would barely notice it, but is it enough? Well, maybe Kojari. Not everything can be fixed with magic, dear Sunlight. Or maybe Kojaria combined with the Duchia Compellus. Yes. That could work nicely. With a hint of persuadery to be sure it sticks. What is she going to do? Every pony will probably thank me for getting it all done so quickly. And Twilight will be thrilled I've completed so many lessons. Every pony wins! It's not the fact that you can. I'm just. Oh no. Congratulations, Starlight. You're a genius. What did she do? <gasps> she mind controlled them? Congratulations were a little premature. Did you mind control them? Or just paralyze them? Of course. Fiducia Compellus needs a trigger. Pinky, kitchen, rarity, applejack, library. Fluttershy, stay here. Rainbow Dash, find somewhere inside the castle and set up a place where we can chillax. Oh no. Let's get to work, Pinky. Okie dokie. What would you like to do first? Uh, what are we supposed to do first? Whatever you want to do first, Starlight Glimmer. In a medium sized mixing bowl, beat together eggs, sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix in flour. Okay. Add baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. I think you can take it from here. Take what from where? The baking. Just keep following the instructions. What is baking? Absolutely. Instruction following starting now. Baking a cake. Check. Now on to sewing. Oh, Starlight, my dear, you are missing you so many mind? social cues. Whatever you want me to have in my mind, Starlight Glimmer. All the pictures, all the fan fictions, all of the things I can only imagine that can come out from this. Just like this one? Just like it. Absolutely. It will look perfectly divine. But how can you do Applejack? That's a whole lot of photos. How do you usually organize them? However you want me to organize them, Starlight. Okay. Tell me about this one. Sweet Apple Acres, 20 moons ago. Granny Smith was looking for her favorite pie tin. She looked in the kitchen, but it wasn't there. She looked in the barn, but it wasn't there. Huh. I don't need every little detail. <laughs> Just sum up the story in one sentence. Huh. It turns out Granny Smith didn't know how to make a pig do the backstroke. Uh huh. Why don't you keep putting these photos in chronological order, and when I come back, you can give me more highlights. Sure thing, Starlight Glimmer. This is a weird episode. Where are all the animals? They ran away. And why didn't you stop them? Because you didn't ask me to. Obviously, I wanted you to... Never mind. Can you please round up all the animals in the castle and bring them back here to the foyer? All the animals. Got it. Oh no, she said all the animals. I think she's legitimately going to bring all the animals. Great. Let me know when it's ready. Yes, Starlight Glimmer. Granny Smith Someone is not. I can imagine many who's not going to be happy at the end of this. Can't say anything nice about any pony. Come sit by me. Big Mac knew if he just covered himself in mud, the creature wouldn't be able to see him. What creature was that? I have finished the dress. Isn't it gorgeous? What is that? He wanted me to make a dress exactly like the one in the book. Ugh. Go make a real dress out of fabric, exactly like the one in the book. Oh, I see. Yes, of course, Starlight Glimmer. I am not sure how... Make it bigger than the one in the book. Of course, darling. Bigger it is. I have no idea how to feel about all of this. Standing in front of another pony, asking him 
Starlight, you're messing up screw big time. What now? Let me guess. Oh dear. They can take our farm, but they can't take our freedom. <laughs> Did they just make a brave heart reference? I gathered all of the Hey Jesus! Starlight Glimmer. Oh yes, this was a nice baby. A much bigger dress. Oh god, I know where that is from. Uh, two town, two cities, something like that. What did you say? The cakes are burning. You left the ovens on. We need water. Yes, Starlight Glimmer. Storm. Well, if this isn't failing spectacularly, I don't know what is. And you flooded the castle. Big Mac told me with a whole lot of power comes a heck of a lot of responsibility. <laughs> now, Spider-Man reference? How many are they going to back into this? <gasps> what is going on? Oh, snap. I had no idea we had spiders in the castle. I'm never sleeping again. Maybe if I reverse the Fiducia Compellus in Cogeria. Or maybe I added too much persuadere. What? You're really missing the point here. Yeah. Uh, I finally untangled that mess of a spell and got every pony home. It was really powerful stuff. They're gonna feel that in the morning. Now please try to explain to me how in the name of Celestia things got this out of control. Well, it was the first time I cast that particular spell, and I didn't fully think it through. I, I bet if I had reversed... I think you might be missing the point here. Yeah. Told ya. What made you think that casting a spell on your friends to do your bidding was even remotely a good idea? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds really bad. That's because it is really bad! Uh, Twilight pissed. Start. That's something we've not yeah. seen in a while. But I am disappointed. You've been doing so well. I just don't understand how a friendship lesson turned into all of this. Ugh, fine. I've been avoiding the friendship lessons on purpose. Why? I can cast complex spells, but baking a cake with Pinkie Pie freaks me out. And yes, I know how ridiculous that sounds. That's why I didn't say anything. I thought if I just kept wowing you with my magical abilities, you might just not notice. Baking a cake freaks you out? Yes. Baking a cake, sewing, all of it. What if I was bad at it? Because it's be mundane stuff, everyday pony. stuff. I ended up being a disappointment to every pony. Starlight, do you think any pony cares if you can bake a cake? But the lesson was to get to know Pinkie Pie better by doing something she loves. It was a friendship lesson, not a baking lesson. Exactly. So, you know, I think I might have missed the point here. You <laughs> think? So now what? Now it's time for a pretty advanced friendship lesson. It's called apologizing. You got apologizing to do. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of whammy Starlight put on us, but I feel like I got shoved through the super speedy cider squeezy six thousand. Uh, tell me about it. If every pony could speak in a whisper for the next few days, that would be delightful. My head is. Thing. I was up all night calming the animals down. Fluttershy, please. Not so loud. <laughs> Starlight spell made me burn perfectly good cake. I never burn cake. Yeah, about that. I can imagine. Things got a little out of hand last night. Well, ain't that the understatement of the day? Of this century. Cakes, sister. Can we all please? Could you get a lower volume? <laughs> 
Aww. I really messed up. I cast the spell because I was nervous about working with you on the friendship lessons. Well, here's a friendship lesson for you. Don't cast spells on your friends. Believe me, I know. Yeah, that, that should be a no-brainer. Wrong, and I can't take it back. You're right to be upset, and I hope one day I can make it up to you. But all I can say is I'm sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go clean the castle covered in wet cake batter and spiders. That was a pretty good apology. Seems like she feels really bad. Kinda. She does feel bad. Hey, Starlight, most of the Apple Family photos are still laying around in the wreckage. I think I'll come along and hunt them down. Oh, and I feel awful for disturbing all of those cute little spiders and bats. I should check on them. Ah, yes. And I left some lovely fabric out. I should come and move it to that nice, quiet library. Uh, I'll come and get those storm clouds out of the bathroom. Oh, but yeah. Some pony has to bake a cake to honor all the poor cakes that sacrificed <laughs> She's really salty about it. Oh, Pinky. And thus, everything went turned out right. In the creepy hallways. <laughs> Pinky being this upset. Oh dear. I'm not the best at baking, but I've never covered myself in fl in flour like that. It seems your apology went well. <sighs> I'm just lucky to have such understanding friends. But it's probably going to be a while before I try to tackle those friendship lessons again. What do you mean? You've been doing them all day. What are you talking about? I've been cleaning up the mess I made by totally failing at friendship. Really? But didn't I see you sewing with Rarity? Yes, but... And you and Applejack did a great job collecting those photos and putting them in the book. Helping animals with Fluttershy, baking with Pinkie Pie. Those sound like your assignments to me. In fact, I think there's just one that you're missing. Sun, check. Chairs, check. And thanks to a simple Cata Dupa Levitata spell, we've got water. Is that everything we need to chillax? Nope. No? What did I miss? Holy crap! Oh, right. Great you worry more than Twilight about details. Another friendship lesson. <sighs> hey! She completes the lesson when I say she completes it. So less learning and more chillaxing. <laughs> so, so is that on top of the castle? How long do we sit quietly? Shh. <laughs> Just quiet now, my dear. Quiet and enjoy, basically. Alrighty then. So that was every little thing she does. It's magic. Okay. Um. I honestly don't know how to feel about it. Because it didn't bother me in any particular way. Like, it didn't make me dislike it, but there wasn't that many things that made me all like, Woo, good episode! So, like, I am very indifferent about it. I'm honestly not sure how I could rate it with all my metaphor ways. I have honestly no idea how to rate it to probably show off how I feel about it. Uh, let me okay. Let me try and talk about it. Then maybe it will come to me. As we, uh, the more we have learned about Starlight over the season, I have come to like her more. Um, she is basically the social outcast of the group. Not in a negative way. It's not like anyone is like pushing her away, but she doesn't know how to function socially. She doesn't know how to read social cues and all that kind of stuff. Ah, okay. I kind of relate with Starlight. 
in the way that she is socially awkward, sometimes she, she doesn't know what to do, what to say, how to act, and all that kind of stuff. And overthinking things in the total opposite direction and, and that's what you're supposed to. She reminds me a lot of myself. In that way. Again, this is probably the worst thing I could ever do, but I guess it's... Some of you already figured it out. I... Okay, this is pretty heavy. So forgive me if this is the stupidest thing I've ever going, I'm ever going to say on this channel. I am autistic. I have Asperger's. Which makes me incredibly... Not incredibly used when I was little, but... I am not a perfect guy when it comes to social activities. Uh, maybe that's over exaggerating, but there are times where I'm not able to read a situation properly. Where I can't read how people feel about something. Where I either completely misunderstand or miss the point. She reminds me a lot of myself in that regard. This is probably the stupidest thing I'm ever going to do on this channel. Maybe this will kill me. I just basically put a giant bullseye on my head for internet trolls because of what I just said. But you know what? I planned to tell you guys at some point. I didn't know when, didn't know how, but I guess this is the this is as good a time as any. I have Asperger's. Bit of ADHD as well. As you can tell, not as much as others have it. I have been told that I have like a minor case of it. But it is enough to that, this, to that I can feel the effects of it. And I guess that is why I like Starlight. Because she reminds me a lot of what I am going through. Trying to... Trying to like work on my social shit, social skills. Reading a situation better, not being so incredibly nervous about every little thing. This was stupid. This was incredibly stupid. I'm going to leave it in though, but it's incredibly stupid. I don't have a rating for this episode. I am very indifferent. I... I don't know how to feel. I feel kind of conflicted about it. Um, I guess that is all I have to say. I know this is not my best reaction ever. This is probably one of the worst. And especially because of this giant bomb I just laid on you at the end of it. Un unless some of you figured it out already. But yeah, this this video just got really awkward for me. So yeah, that is that is all I have to say. Um, so thank you all very much for watching, my dear friends. As always, please tell me in the comments below what you think about the the episode, my reaction, and my channel in general. Please tell me both positive and negative so I can use it all to grow and evolve into a better entertainer for you guys. But as always, my dear friends, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Mr. Twenty Five Flame, and I'll see you guys next time.